This is a video on a technique for making a stretchy cast on for cuff down socks using long tail cast on. So we're going to put the yarn in the slingshot, slingshot position in the left hand and we're going to put the first stitch on the needle. Now we're going to, for this particular sock, we're going to use a knit one purl one ribbing. So what we're going to do is cast on and knit one purl one. You can do that with long tail cast on. You can cast on knit wise, which is like this, or you can cast on purl wise, which is like this. So the first stitch is already on the needle and that's gonna be a knit one. So we know that the next stitch needs to be the purl stitch. So we're gonna cast on purl wise. We come over underneath the outside of the finger yarn, under the thumb yarn and pull it through the finger yarn. I have several videos on showing how to cast on purl wise. You may want to look at those for an in-depth study of casting on purl wise. But what I want to show here is how this creates a very stretchy cast on. So we're casting on a knit stitch and then a purl stitch. We'll do a couple more. Now we're going to slip these down to the cable. And we're going to stretch them and see what happens. See, they really stretch out. So it makes a very nice stretchy cast on. Now let me show you why. I'm going to use two colors for that demonstration. So we're going to tie two colors together here. The blue yarn will be going over the finger. The white yarn will be going over the thumb. We're going to do the same cast on. We're going to cast on a knit stitch and then a purl stitch. So we'll start with the knit, cast on a knit, then we're going to cast on a purl. And then a knit. I have a video showing doing the purl cast on all by itself if you need to look at those. They'll be in the same playlist that this video is in. We'll do two more stitches so you can see that now every other stitch is the finger yarn and the other stitches are the thumb yarn. So they alternate. That's what makes this stretchy. So when we pull on this, you can see that both of those yarns stretch out and that allows us to be a very stretchy long tail cast on for socks. If you like my videos, be sure to hit the thumbs up button below the video that says you like it and then share it with your friends. Happy knitting.